Hey guys, welcome to my new video and this is going to be my first Lightroom tutorial. Now if you're not sure what Lightroom is, it's pretty much a program to help organize and edit your photos and I use it to edit the raw files my camera takes. Now I'm going to be rushing through this one a bit because it's quite a lot to do and I don't have much time to make a tutorial. So to start things off, I'm going to be showing you how to create a nice soft pink effect. And as you can see, I've created a preset pack for this and I can just click all these and it'll go through the different effects. Now you can download these presets on my DeviantArt page and I'll put a link to the download in the description. So feel free to just download those. Otherwise, I'm about to show you how to create them from scratch for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting at the top of the develop tab here and I'll be slowly working my way down. Also, before I start, there's no use in trying to copy my values since it's gonna vary depending on the environment and the lighting that your photo was taken in. Okay, so for starters, we'll go up to the temperature slider up here and I'm just gonna use this to warm up the image a little bit. As you can see, it's just made the image a bit more orange, and that's pretty much the first step in creating this soft looking effect. Then we're gonna also adjust the tint a little bit, but not too much. Now down to exposure. For this image, I'm gonna underexpose it a little bit, and then bring in a bit of fill light to help fill in those shadows. And if you're wondering how I'm adjusting the effects like that without actually using the sliders, I'm just putting my mouse over that slider bar and pressing the up and down arrow keys and yep. Then we're going to go down to blacks and I'm going to reduce the blacks to zero. So that pretty much eliminates all the dark parts in the photo. Again, you can bring down contrast to flatten out the image a little bit more and this is all helping to create that soft looking effect. Then we're going to want to adjust the brightness and bring that back up since we lowered exposure. And about plus 85 is doing good for this photo. Okay, now with clarity, you can either increase the clarity to help sharpen out the edges or you can decrease it to soften up the edges. Now I think softening up the edges and decreasing the clarity creates quite a nice effect for this photo and it's really adding a nice overall glow if we have a look at the before and after but make sure you don't go overboard because it starts looking a bit too fake and a bit unrealistic. So about negative 30 is pretty good. So we're going to leave the vibrance as it is but then reduce the saturation to about negative 20 just to help flatten out the image again and just pretty much make the split tone look a little bit better. Now again, this is all personal preference, so you might not like what I like and um, you know adjust the effects until you're happy. I'm going to leave uh, the tone curve at the default medium and I'm going to skip hue saturation luminance since we don't need it for this specific photo. Now down to split turning and this is where we start to create that really pink looking effect. We're going to leave both our highlight and shadow hue value at zero and we're just going to adjust the saturation. So we're going to want to bring up the saturation of our highlights to about plus 20 and as you can see it's really starting to look nice and pink. And then we're going to want to bring up the saturation of the shadows but only by about 5 to 10. And then we've got this balance slider in the middle. Now what we're going to do is bring this down to a negative value and it's pretty much going to take a bit out of the highlights and keep a bit more in the shadows. And you can see the before and after for that, it's just a little bit of an improvement in my opinion. You might not think so but have a play around with it and see what you like. Now we're going to skip the sharpening and the noise reduction since we don't need that and we're going to go down to post crop vignetting. Now as we bring this down you can see the edges of the image slightly darkening. We can bring in the midpoint a bit and feather it out a lot. And that way it just helps to kind of bring your attention into the middle of the photo. But you can simply leave it off if you don't like it or you can go in the opposite direction to brighten up the corners. But personally I like it at a bit of a negative value. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so there we go, that's pretty much the final image and it's similar to that of the preset. Obviously it's not quite as good um, because I spent a lot more time creating the preset. So I hope you like this and in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to create a color enhancing effect. So if we have a look at this photo, uh, if we say apply my other presets, you can see everything's just a lot more contrasted, bright and everything looks a bit more clear. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in the next clip. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. And be sure to check out my DeviantArt page for all my actual photos. And you can download my presets from there. So thanks and I'll see you in the next video.